Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. So today's learner driver Anna passed our Enfield Driving Test Centre with only two minor faults. Anna passed on the automatic vehicle and she contacted me two days prior to her driving test. Having nine years of driving experience in Russia, I managed to show her all the necessary requirements for the test that she was able to pass on her first attempt with only two minor faults, which was an exceptional drive. For the viewers that are watching today that would like to have a mock test or any driving lessons in a safe and supportive environment, please feel free to contact me. I will provide my contact details below and I do cover manual and automatic driving lessons in the North London and East London region. And guys, this will be a driving test route that Anna had and I'll be doing a voiceover as I usually do. Thank you guys for the continued support and please do make sure that you continue to like, share and subscribe. So at the end of the test, centre road, the examiner obviously this instructed the pupil to turn right. And then at the roundabout, the pupil took the second exit right. It's really important, guys, that whenever you take the second exit here, once you pass the first exit at the roundabout, make sure that you check your mirrors, you signal off to the left and you manoeuvre to the left immediately. As at this specific roundabout, cars tend to undertake you if you don't manoeuvre after to the left after you pass the first exit and also there will be a speed change so you're going from an overway which is a 20 mile per hour road onto mollison avenue which will be a 40 mile per hour road so guys do be wary of that And then continue to make progress. Try to drive to the appropriate speed of the road, which is 40 miles per hour. But make sure you keep the correct following distance with the vehicle ahead of you. As we already know, guys, two second gap in good conditions, four second in wet conditions and 10 seconds in icy conditions. And be wary, guys, if their traffic lights have been on green for some time, anticipate they may change.
And then at the roundabout, the pupil followed signs to Mollison Avenue, which was the second exit ahead. Again, as the exit is at the 12 o'clock, you should position to the left-hand lane. So that's the clock analogy. Otherwise, lane markings do take precedence, guys. So just remember, if lane markings or road markings on the floor specify something that goes against the clock analogy, then that obviously takes precedence. <laughs> So the pupil was then instructed to go ahead again at the roundabout and take the second exit. As you can see, there's a signpost that clearly states that the left lane is left only. So the pupil did need the middle lane. But however, if you stay in this lane, this lane will go ahead as the left lane forms on the left immediately after, as you can see. So the pupil did choose the correct lane. So they chose the correct lane, which is obviously there was two lanes going ahead. You want to be in the left lane of the two as the right lane is the overtaking lane. If you were in the right lane, it is not an issue, providing you come back to the left lane when it is safe to do so. And then at the next roundabout, the sat nav instructed the pupil or the examiner to take the third exit right at the roundabout going towards Enfield. And it's not a light controlled roundabout, guys. There's just a, tra there's just a pedestrian crossing here to allow pedestrians to cross. <laughs> 